Hello everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, back with another Sky Factory tutorial, yes! Thank you for watching. Sky Factory is a little mod pack that I put together, and if you want to learn more about it and how to get it, go back and watch episode one. Today, we're going to finish off talking about the Dartcraft Infuser, and we're going to get my favorite force rod of all time. So there's something very important that I want to mention before we get any farther. We talked about how on any of these tools from Darkcraft, you press the letter V uh, and it will open up the internal supply of force. This acts like durability, essentially. If this runs out, then the durability is going to start going down on the tool. See, it says 72 of 75. If, uh, if you grab force gems um, and put that in there right there it'll it'll fill up or you can put it in here and just hit go and it will fill it up that will put the durability back up now it's very important to note that using these tools lowers that and that includes the armor and that includes flying we've been talking about flying with the armor right well the the actual look at the durability it's dropping as we speak it's very important to pay attention to, to that. Your armor can and will break while you're using it. It's vital that you keep the armor pieces filled with an internal supply of force so that you don't break while you're in the middle of flight and it, it'll be bad. So uh, after you make them, put them back on the fuser, hit go again, and it'll it'll fill it up. And so that you don't have that problem. Now, uh, the next thing to note, we're ready to do the final tier here, but there's a problem. There is a problem. Our book is not tier seven yet. It does not say ready to advance. We have gotten to the point where even though we've been using these four shards, we don't have enough XP on this book to advance to the next level. Now, depending on how you did your infusing, you might come to this point sooner than I have. It could happen earlier. If you didn't use these four shards for the bonus, then it could have happened way earlier. So uh, basically all that means is that you need to do more enchanting. And sometimes, sometimes it means doing enchanting that you don't even care about. You know, making tools that you don't even need just to get some enchanting done. Now, you should know that when you're enchanting stuff, each one of these slots that you put an item in that counts toward the infusing, each one of these is going to give you more and more XP for the single enchant, right? So if I were to take a uh, pick here, boom, and fill that thing up. So what can we put on a pick here? We can use golden power. We can put sugar. We can uh, put fortune, boom, and we can put grinding, and I'm not sure if any of these will conflict with each other or not. But basically, they're, oh wait, no, that doesn't work. That works, okay, because the, the go lit up. Doing this will get you a certain amount of XP. Adding a second one will get you more. Adding a third will get you more, and so forth. And uh, more of these, the better. So you want to try, if the goal is XP, you want to fill up as much of these as you can. And, uh, and then just enchant it, toss it away if you don't need it, make another one, put it in there. Uh, a great way, a, a cheap tool to make is the, the force bow, because you just need four sticks and string. Those are cheap and easy to get. Make a bunch of bows, do the enchants, and just keep doing that until this thing is ready to hit tier seven. And uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And actually, I'm not. I'm gonna cheat because it's a tutorial. So I'm gonna do slash dart craft is hard like that. And just like that, it spawned me in a tier seven upgrade tome. That's just to save me time from tier six to tier seven. And when you when you get there, it'll say mastered because that's the top tier. And uh, yeah, so so uh, if you're in creative, you want a shortcut, you can do that. There's another command that you can use to uh, get a chest with all the Darkcraft items in it and stuff too. But of course, that's blatant cheating. Use your own discretion. 
Um, all right, so that's that's unlocked these last things here. So let's see. Diamond dust. Diamond dust is um, what you use to get unbreaking on stuff. So if you want an unbreaking pick, or if you want your armor durability to go down slower, put put sturdy on your armor. And as I mentioned before, you can only put one of these things on each piece of armor. So one diamond dust per armor is all the bonus effect that you can get. It stacks, but only one per piece. Uh, so how do you get diamond dust in? Basically, you just take you take diamonds and you put it in this grinding furnace. Plop a diamond in there, it'll kick out a diamond dust, then you can enchant with it. And uh, so that's the diamond dust. Put that on pretty much any tool. And these three are optional. You know, you don't you don't have to, to use them because it's the final tier, right? So it doesn't really matter if you make them or not. This treasure core, if you put that on a weapon, then uh, you'll get, when you kill a mob, it gives you a chance to get a, a treasure card which you can craft together to make a spoils bag. So it's a way to get extra spoils bag. Glowstone dust is um, basically, that's, that's, damage against undead it's like smite it's like putting smite on your swords if you're gonna go kill withers uh, a dark craft sword with a lot of glowstone dust on it will be useful for extra damage then the soul wafer um Let's just read what it says. The soul upgrade on four swords and socket of power saws will occasionally cause mob chunks to drop, which can be used to craft the vanilla spawners for that mob or even be smelted into colored mob ingots. So uh, if you remember earlier on when we ground up that sheep thing, we got a sheep chunk. Yeah, that's what that's about. So you can take these chunks and actually create your own spawner blocks, like a mob spawner. So you can make a sheep spawner you can make a zombie spawner, whatever, and getting one of these soul wafers on your sword is a way to get those things to drop and uh, be able to craft those things. But, so you can do all of those, I don't need to show it to you, but this one, the Ender Pearl, oh, that's my favorite rod of all time. So we're gonna make one of these guys. Uh, so do I have, no, I need to grab another rod. So here, uh, force rod. Right there, and let's get an Ender Pearl while we're at it. Ender Pearl, right there. Let's make this guy. Um, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. There we go. And um, I'll go ahead and hit it again so it's filled. All right, the Rod of Return from the Ender Pearl actually lets you teleport. This thing is so OP. It's amazing. All right, so go to some spot and um not no ah i guess can't do it on the elevator next to it there okay shift right click shift right click we'll pull up this little interface right here and i'm going to click set boom so that's going to take my current coordinates where i'm standing if you know coordinates that you want to teleport to you can type them in here otherwise it's going to hitting set will take your current um current coordinates and this right here dimension zero is meaningless that's just a name so we're going to call this home base right there and we're going to click save and so now if you mouse over it it says home base and no matter where i am if i'm way over here and i take this rod and i right click on it <laughs> i'm home again if i go over here right click i'm here if I'm down in the squid farm, checking out the squid words, hey guys, boom, I'm back. What if, what if I was in the nether? What if I was in the nether and, oh, there's, oh, they're not mad at me anymore, I guess, because I died. What if I was falling to my doom? Boom, I'm home. Any dimension, whatever, you right click, you're gonna be home again. Now, keep in mind, this does use your internal that force meter bar thing up there, it uses that. So you can run into trouble if you don't have enough, but it is a great safeguard against accidentally falling off. Boom, back home again. This thing is amazing. Make more than one. You know what? If you fought your way through blood and tears all the way to that fortress, make a separate rod and set it at the fortress and then you can teleport there anytime you want. 
later on when we teach you how to go to the end and kill the dragon yeah set a force rod to, to the end and then you can teleport there anytime you want the the potential is limitless just just make sure to keep a, a pile of force in there so it doesn't run out keep it on your hot bar so if you fall into the void you'll always be able to get home and and trust me this game just suddenly got even more awesome force rods are just amazing so much fun stuff you can do with them. And that's it. Having done that, we have completely mastered this tome. We can make all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, Dartcraft Enchanting is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this Dartcraft series. There are some other awesome features of Dartcraft. Um, but we uh, this concludes the look at Dartcraft that we're going to do. Uh, other features of Darkcraft I will cover as they relate to the challenges when we get to them. Like these these storage units, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with these things later on. But that's a future video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Hit the like button. Show me some love there if you like this at all. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitch, broadcasting Minecraft Live almost daily at twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut and follow me on twitter the address is up there at bacon donut tv thank you for watching i'll catch you next time bye guys bye